Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Dia and this is Dia's Frugal Life. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you my, I guess it's my latest um, setup inside my minivan. This is a 2018 Toyota Sienna and I nicknamed her my SHTF fan, my shit hit the fan van. So I hope you enjoy the tour. It's more of a um, clean, minimalist, uh, but that doesn't include like my actual clothes and food when I go camping because I'm only doing this part time. So I just go on road trips and I just do um, like car camping pretty much, van camping. And I live in a different uh, vehicle, which is an RV right now. Um, I've lived full time in a van before, not this one. I had one previous to this one and I had an even more simple uh, no build build, which was really nice. It was really nice, but at the same time, um, I probably should have put more in there than, than what I had. <laughs> and now I'm making this one, uh, the 2.0, um, my second van, the 2.0 setup, but it's also a no build build. And I'm just kind of moving things around periodically, upgrading things and taking things away and just like we all do, right? Trial and error and after we see what we actually want, what we need, what we don't want, what works, what doesn't, etc. But anyhow, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview and walk around the van and then show you um, just a kind of a quick tour of what I actually have and how I have it set up now. And I actually like it the way that it is because I have a lot of kitchen. So to me, what's important is a comfortable bed, a uh, big kitchen, as big as I can get it, and also the most reliable vehicle that I can possibly own. So that's why I have a Toyota. And I am able to put a L-shaped kitchen, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. And then my mattress is basically just foam toppers with a Coleman cot and I will show you all that in just a bit. All right, this is the front. I just keep it pretty simple. I just have some seat covers, my curtains up. Um, nothing very exciting here. It's just simple, clean, and not very cluttered. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part. There's still a lot I have to do, guys, to make it like more snazzy looking, but Right now, I'm just setting it up, and I think I found the setup that I like. So here we go. Under the bed, I have some milk crates, some backpacks. I have a three-gallon jug of water, Coleman chairs, camping chairs. That blue backpack right there is my bug-out bag. That brown table is a shoe rack, which is my kitchenette. In the very back, I have my big blue eddy battery a 2000 watt and then the bougie rv um, fridge or freezer and i come in and out through this side that's why i made the bed go towards the passenger side let me show you the very back so this is what it looks like what do y'all think pretty clean pretty minimalistic right that's kind of how i like it although i need a some pop of color guys i need a little bit more personality in here and i'm working on that but for now, I'm just focusing on just the design, the layout, the setup of it. And I've got a bunch of storage, storage cubbies and under the bed storage, the milk crates, there's three of them and two of them have things and one of them is just empty. So I have a lot of still storage space that it is not being utilized and I use it until, you know, I'm actually going on a trip, but this is what it looks like from the passenger side looking in. Not too shabby, not too shabby. There you can see my milk crates in my backpack. In the very front, like I said, I don't keep much of anything there. I just pretty, pretty clear and minimal. Just out of sight, out of mind. And that is that, you guys. This is my beautiful shit hit the fan van. Okay, now I'm just gonna walk in here and give you a 
a bit more detailed glance. It's my bed and I typically sit on that end or the opposite end. Just depends. Here's where I relax. I call this my living area and I don't have anything blocking. So in an emergency, I can just hop to the front and start the van and take off guys. But my curtains are kind of uh, not working. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, this is my kitchenette area. So I have the small EB3A, the smaller Blue Eddy, which I have really loved. I love using that. And I pair it with that Dezen hot pot. And I cook a lot of yummy meals in this van. Um, back here is where I was telling you guys I have my big Blue Eddy. I think it's the AC200P. It's a 2000 watt. And that one's going to be mainly just for my, my fridge. My fridge and the bigger appliances when I happen to use them. But I really love that big old sucker. Oh my god, it, it is powerful, guys. And then this is a 23 quart Bouge RV. And I love, I love it. Both of those combined together are great. But I keep it covered mainly so it's out of sight, out of mind. Plus it keeps all the dust off of it. When I happen to go on a trip, then I'll, I'll take the, the cover off. But for now, that works. I've got tons of storage, guys cubbies storage cup holders they're everywhere and these back windows are awesome i can manually open it when i need some breeze some air if i'm cooking i can just pop those windows open without having to turn on the key and start the vehicle or put it on the accessory that's awesome but yeah i'm gonna be changing out the curtains you guys because it's not wide enough to cover but it works for now and now this is what I was talking about, an L-shaped kitchen. And that's quite a bit of kitchen for this small of a space. And then as far as my bed, like I mentioned, I just have a bunch of foam toppers. There's four foam toppers that are just cut to size, plus the little foam mattress that came with the cot. My window covers are under my, my uh, bed, I guess. <laughs> And it's a Coleman Comfort Smart, which I have a video on that too. It is awesome, you guys. I love it. I recommend it. Highly recommend all the gear that I have. I highly recommend it. And it has worked well for me. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the video or this kind of content. Um, I also have a whole variety of videos that I do just based upon my frugal life, my experiences, my adventures, and my simple basic frugal life pretty much. But anyhow, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia and if you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. Hit that thumbs up, put a comment on there, all that good stuff. You can also join the channel and become part of our coffee club. Thanks for all your love and support. Bye guys.